Adil Popat, many thanks for joining us on the program. You have lots of interest in automobile and, of course, the hospitality industry. How did you start your business empire? My father is the patriarch, the person who really started uh, our businesses you know, about 70 years ago, you know, when he was a young man. And uh, he started very small, uh, basically, you know, working initially for uh, a company. Uh, he didn't even finish his school. And uh, the main, I suppose, business we started off was a second-hand car dealership, which uh, he grew, and then we took on the Mitsubishi franchise in 1968. And basically, that's the start of when, uh, you know, uh, the group was developed as such. Uh, and of course, we just started with one business, which was uh, selling Mitsubishi cars. That was it. Particularly on the new car industry, we've seen the sector in Kenya only accounts for a mere 20%. Why are you so keen on this sector? The benefit, of course, of new car business in this country is, uh, you know, they provide a much larger uh, uh, GNP uh, than uh, used cars. Okay, so if you look at the multiplier effect uh, of a new car vis-a-vis -vis used car, uh, I think we're about eight times higher than a used car. So we create wealth, we create jobs, and we create a lot of uh, sustenance in the economy. Some people like those sophisticated cars. It's all about an ego. I want that car. And so we've basically uh, gone down that route, and we've given you this vertical option, you know, that says, all right, fine, I want a BMW. You know, it's one of the most sophisticated cars in the world. Or I want a basic car. And we're bringing in a Chinese brand soon, uh, which will give them a basic car. Okay. And the benefit of these is that each of these brands are evolving separately. Yeah? They are run independently. We don't mix, except for Mitsubishi and Mitsubishi Fuso, which is the truck business, we don't mix. So these businesses are run independently, but the options are available through the group. So Adil, you mentioned on the Chinese brands you're looking to bring into the Kenyan market, and of course right now there's a lot of activity with the Kenya-China relations. What are some of these brands and what potential are you seeing that they're going to have in the industry? The problem with the bringing in a Chinese vehicle is that, you know, there is always this perception that quality is very bad. And when we started with Japanese, it was exactly the same. When we put Mitsubishi on the road for the first time, people laughed and said, Japanese? No. But actually, that Japanese is now a leader in motor vehicles in the world. So we believe that China will do a similar thing. It might take longer, and the dynamics are different. But nonetheless, I think it is imperative for Simba to have a Chinese brand in its stable. The brand we're going to bring is a brand called Geely, and uh, Geely is uh, the biggest privately owned uh, Japanese, uh, sorry, Chinese motor vehicle company. Uh, it is also the owner of Volvo cars. So that was really the turning point. When they bought Volvo, we decided, yes, now they have the technology to move to a completely different level. Shifting gears now, we're seeing that Simba Corporation has also invested into the hospitality industry, of course, with the launch of uh, Villa Rosa Kepinski brand here in Kenya. What potential are you looking at into this uh, hospitality industry? I personally have been in the hospitality industry for 33 years, and I was always keen on having some sort of hospitality option in the business uh, in Kenya. That happened in, in 2006 uh, and 2007 when we decided, look, we're going to diversify. And that's why Villa Rosa was, was uh, initiated. We create a very iconic uh, five-star unit, which is the Kempinski. Uh, luckily, we also created a very nice unit in the Masai Mara. Uh, so we got that as our five-star product. But our real focus is going to be in the three-star range. And uh, we will be starting a hotel in Westlands uh, in the next few months. Uh, the design work is now started. And uh, as soon as that work is done and approvals are made, we will start a 180-room hotel in Westlands together with a small shopping mall. Uh, so that's our next unit. Uh, we've already started uh, a unit in Kisumu, and that should be ready by the end of the year. Uh, it's all be under our new brands, our own brands. And, uh, and of course, we've also committed to a hotel in Machakos with the governor there. So Simba will be in the hospitality business in a big way. Adil, you're also one of the few Kenyan students who had the privilege of studying at the Wharton Business School back in 1984. What would you say the Wharton experience gave you in terms of your business interests? The, the Wharton MBA make you think differently. You know, you have an ability 
to think through problems quite differently than a person who hasn't been there. You know? Because there's so much information that you're digesting that you have the ability to really dissect a problem in a different way and really get to the root. And I think that was really essential uh, to my development. <laughs>